What's up guys, SolDF back with another video. You guys see this glitchy behind the back jump shot that I'm doing right here on your screen. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this move. I've been streaming a lot lately. Last stream, I went on a 40 game win streak with my guy Clutch, and I was doing this move pretty much one to two times every game. It's really effective, and everyone has been asking me. You know, I've been putting it on Twitter, putting clips of it on Twitter. Everyone's been asking me, Solo, how, to, how do you do this move? Some people have figured it out, so I'll give them props, but for the most part, people are just confused, and that's why I wanted to make this video so this move is actually not that hard to do and pretty much nobody knows how to do it so that's pretty cool but since I am helping you guys out can you guys help me out and drop a like on this video it's aimed for 150 likes in the video and also if you're watching this like right when I release the video please subscribe we are about to hit 4.8 K subscribers but if you're watching it like two weeks from now we probably already hit it but anyways let's get into it All right, so you guys know I had to pull up to the penthouse to show you guys the tutorial. Let me let me walk over to the my course. So for this tutorial, you guys like it's not one of those tutorials where you can just use any move you want. So let me show you uh, the move. I think I go to my player appearance and then my animations. I will be covering my dribble moves because I plan to make a dribble tutorial and like release the stigs in that video. So you guys can probably understand that. For the you know for the thing that you actually need, if you guys want my jump shot, also I have a video on that. I'll put the link in the description. But the main thing for this video is the hop jumper. You guys need normal 19. That is the secret hop jumper. Normal 19. You guys will see right here. There's like four different hop jumpers in the package. Right there. You guys see the behind the back one? That's the one you guys need. See, look, there's a, there's a bunch of hop jumpers. But some people have thought it's like James Harden. I've also heard people think that I've been using Steph Curry. And just people have just thrown out random guesses. But the actual one is normal 19. If you guys also want my dribble pull up, I use normal four. The other one that's pretty good is Steph Curry, but I don't use that. I use normal four. The spin jumper that I use is Steph Curry, hop jumper, normal 19, post fades, fade eight, and the rest really don't matter. So if you guys wanna throw these on, then you can as well. All right, now that you guys have the actual hop jumper animation that you guys need, before we get into the tutorial, I'm gonna give you a few more crucial tips that you guys need to know in order to make the shot more effective, catch more ankles, get more open, green more shots. So the first thing is the badges. You guys go to a progression and then badges, Pull up your badges. I have 21 playmaking badges. So there's a specific badge that helps you guys with hop jumpers and it helps you guys catch ankles with hop jumpers that not too many people know about. So I'll give you a few seconds to try and guess which badge I'm talking about. It helps you create space and catch ankles. So I am talking about space creator. As you guys see, I have it on bronze. It works on bronze, but the thing about bronze is you're not gonna catch ankles every time. You know, I'd say I probably catch ankles like 35% of the time. Like it's still a decent amount of the time. Um, but I have floor general on, and as you guys see, I only have 21 badges. So if you're a playmaker, you know, you might have more badges than me unless you're the same build as me. But if you're like a you know pure playmaking build, you'll have more badges and you'll be able to put space creator up. Now, I could honestly take floor general off and put space creator on. I was just trying to help my team out because I, I was playing with a shooting center, so I was helping them out make more shots. But you could put space creator on gold and the higher that space creator is on, the more ankles you will catch while doing this move. So I do recommend putting it on Hall of Fame if you have the badges for it. But for me, I really don't have enough badges for it. I would be sacrificing something else. Probably would have to take off like bailout if I wanted, but I like having bailout on bronze or like dimer or something. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep it on bronze and put my floor general back on. It is important for this move, but when, you, when you're talking about badges, like you gotta be making sacrifices and the badge that is more important for you know creating space and stuff like that is tight handles so definitely keep this badge on it helps you stun your defender you guys probably already know about that but yeah if you can sacrifice then i would recommend upgrading space creator but you know these badges right here that i have hall of fame are very important unpluckable you only need on bronze so if you have that on hall of fame you could probably take a few badge upgrades off that throw it on space creator if you want but yeah it's it, it's a pretty important badge when you're talking about creating space with this hop jumper shot now Let's go into the shooting badges real quick. So I don't really know if any of these matter too much Um, you know, honestly, they all kind of have an effect on it except like catch and shoot and Yeah, I think all of them have an effect on it pretty much but difficult shots You know, you guys might think you need it on Hall of Fame I only use it on silver and I'm pretty sure 
that a lot of the top guards only use it on silver so that's all you really need with difficult shots and then if you guys want to take the rest of my shooting badges you can don't really mind the catch and shoot i was just uh taking a lot of catch and shoot shots yesterday so i would probably put this on like i don't know volume shooter and like tireless or something like that or maybe corner and like gold dead eye it doesn't really matter honestly i'd probably go like this but yeah, I was taking a lot of catch and shoot shots yesterday, but all you guys need is silver difficult shots for this And then I would definitely recommend putting these four badges on Hall of Fame right here that I have on Hall of Fame All right, so I'm gonna show you guys one more thing before I show you how to do the actual glitchy jump shot And this is hold on I got to go over to options and then controller settings I'm sure many of you guys already know what I'm about to say But I have my shot meter on off and if this is the first time that, that you guys are hearing about this then you guys definitely need to listen because this year if you turn your shot meter off you get a shot percentage boost so if you time your shot correctly it'll go in more times with your shot meter off than if you do have it on so i i use it off and i've been using it off for about a month now and i have seen a lot of my shots go in the thing with this is though you can't see your shot meter so you have to know your timing so if you're changing jump shots if you're learning this hop jumper you might want to keep the meter on while you're doing it for the first few times but once you get the timing down i really recommend turning your shot meter off and especially with fading not just this move i'm about to show you guys but like fading in general fades go in so much more when you have your shot meter off all right we are finally at the part of the video where i show you guys how to do this glitchy behind the back hop jumper and let me just say like i don't know if it's just me but the penthouse my court looks so much cleaner than the normal one like i don't know if that's just me or if they actually did change the colors on it um but yeah i'm gonna pop a controller a picture of a controller up on the screen so that you have a visual for this but honestly this move is not that hard to do so for this and actually let me show you guys how to do the hop jumper first so if you guys don't know how to do hop jumper you basically just tap x so let's say i'm running right and i tap x it'll do a hop backwards like that so you guys have that hop step where you just run into the side and you have to do that hop you also have the hop step where you run into the paint you just tap x you have that hop step so like i don't know some of you guys might not have known how to do hop steps there's also the spin one if you double tap x you get a little spin if you guys didn't know how to do that but now i'm gonna show you guys how to do the actual glitchy behind the back one so again you guys need to have on the signature style that i showed you guys before so go back put on the hop jumper that i have on because you need it in order for this tutorial so i'm gonna have the ball in my left hand watch the controller if you need help with the arrows but honestly this move is not that hard to do so left hand i'm gonna run forward and i'm gonna tap x like i was doing the other hop jumpers but the thing with this one is when you tap x with your left stick you know you're gonna be running forward with your left stick your left stick you want to flick to the right when you tap x so at the same time so it's gonna look like this and i wish there was more space in the my court it's kind of hard um and i see like i just went back court all right so i'm gonna run forward and then tap x and flick the left stick to the right ball on the left hand too so it looks like this and i'm also holding rt while i'm doing it and sprinting and the timing for this jump shot is actually really hard to do i still haven't like mastered it completely you have to hold it for so long so you guys are probably going to get earlies on it see i got a slightly early um but you're, you're going to learn the timing fast hopefully but it is like you got to hold it forever so that's how you do it you you sprint forward so you hold right trigger you walk forward with the left stick and then you tap x and move the left stick to the right so i'll do it one more time for you guys Hold on, the my court is spazzing out. All right, guess I'm just gonna do it on this side. So ball in left hand, run forward, tap X, left stick goes to the right side, and I get another slightly late. Again, the timing is really hard. And if you guys wanna do it with the other hand, so the right hand, let me just go over here. Right hand, same thing. Oh, I messed it up. But the left stick goes to the left. Instead of the left stick going to the right, if you wanna do it to the other side, you just, the left stick goes to the other side. You, you guys probably already know what I mean, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? All right guys, since like I said before, I have literally not seen anybody do this to me in the park. I haven't really seen any clips ever of anyone doing this move. So I'm gonna claim this move. We're gonna call this move the solo hop. And as you guys know, if you watch my videos, at the near the end of my video every time, I, I tell everyone that's watching to comment something in the comment section. That'll just show me that you made it to this point in the video. Cause we're probably about, I honestly have no clue. It's probably about eight or nine minutes into the video, maybe 10, maybe, we're only seven minutes into the video i don't know but everyone go in the comments and comment solo hop in the comments and this will show me who made it to this point of the video because i actually always 
want to see who made it to this point in the video. But yeah guys, this video is probably going to bring this move to the community a lot more. I'm going to see a lot more people doing this move in the park. If you guys do practice this move and learn it or whatever, send me your clips on Twitter. My Twitter is at YT underscore solo. If you guys want to send me your clips, I'll check them out. But yeah guys, if you learned anything from this video, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Yeah, niggas hate on me, hate on me. I'm getting money, what the fuck can you say to me? Yeah, bitches cry for me, cry for me, cry for me. If you my nigga, then you're raw for me, raw for me. Yeah, you a treat, but you a dub to me, dub to me. Baby, you see me, get no love from me, love from me. I keep a hoodie, cause it's cold to me, cold to me. So when y'all see me, y'all gon' notice me, notice me.